Shalom, Israel. Most High in Christ bless. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Josiah to my right, Officer Sear. Uh, Israel, today's topic is going to be wise to do evil. Wise to do evil pertaining to the Sabbath. All right. So give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. The book of Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. God says we're foolish and stupid. Sottish means stupid. Read it again. They are sottish children. Read it from the top. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. His people is Israel, the 12 tribes. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You make up God's people, the Israelites. Read it again. For my people is foolish. Mm -hmm. They have not known me. He says you have not known him. Read. They are sottish children. They are stupid children. And they have none understanding. You have no understanding. Come on. They are wise to do evil. They are what? Wise to do evil. They are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil. Come on. But to do good, they have no knowledge. To do good, you have no knowledge. All right. So now. Let's deal with it. Um, let's go to Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. When it comes to evil, God says our people are wise. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Come on. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So tomorrow... The Sabbath is coming in. Come on. Bake that which ye will bake today. He says, bake what you're going to bake today. And seed that ye will seed. Seed means boil. So bake and boil what you're going to do today. Come on. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So now, cook and prepare what you want today. And then lay up the rest so you can eat it tomorrow. Why? Exodus 35 and 3. Bake and boil everything you're going to do today. Okay. Don't do it the next day. Why? Exodus chapter 35 verse 3. The book of Exodus chapter 35 and verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout the ha your habitations upon the Sabbath day. What did God say? Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. God says we should not kindle a fire, okay, throughout our habitations upon the Sabbath day. This is pertaining to cooking. You cannot kindle a fire to cook with. So now, the topic being wise to do evil, what will our people do? I want a cup of coffee. I'm not going to boil the water in the coffee pot, right. but I'm going to just run some hot water under the sink, okay, and I'm going to put that in there. Or I want some cocoa. Right. I'm going to just run the hot water, not with milk and so forth, but I'm going to just run some water, put everything in there, some hot water. Okay, that's wise to do evil. God says, no kindling fire. Bake and boil what you're going to do today and lay it up to be kept until the morning. Okay. Hey, tell, tell that uh, example, you know, uh, uh, pertaining to cooking and whatnot. Okay. When you first came into the truth. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the topic is wise to do evil. So I remember when I first came into the truth, you know, the scripture clearly says no cooking on the Sabbath. So I was like, all right, cool. I ain't going to turn on the oven or nothing like that. So my wives, my wives to do evil mind was I was like, you know, hey, the microwave ain't an oven. <laughs> so I put it in. The, I put it in the microwave, heated it right on up and, and ate it as I came to the Sabbath. <laughs> as he came to the Sabbath. You see that? Why to do evil? Now, he it was in ignorance, right? Yeah, right. It, it was right. in ignorance. Okay, but still, some of you guys are doing this intentionally. Right. Okay. Read it one more time, Jeremiah 4. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, mm -hmm. and they have none understanding. Mm -hmm. They are wise to do evil. Our people are wise to do evil. So now, he tells a story of, in ignorance, how, okay, no cooking, yeah, yeah, so I can use the microwave. 
Meaning what? He, in our minds, we may think there's no fire, okay? But the food is being heated up. Right. Through, uh, what is it? Waves and whatnot. The waves and the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The so it's, the food is being heated up. God says, no, you cannot do that on the Sabbath day. But some of you do that intentionally. Or you're going to put your food in the sun so the, the, the wave from the sun can heat, heat your sandwich up. You know what I mean? You don't leave your leave your, your sandwich in the car on the dashboard, right? Facing the sun, that is, okay, so, so you can have a hot sandwich. That's wise to do evil. That's what God is talking about. Give me um, Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the Sabbath day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it you shall not do any work, mean any servile work, come on. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, mm -hmm. nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. It says the, the strangers that is within us, they can't do any work either, right? A brother tells a story how he thought in his mind. That oh, I'm an entrepreneur, right? So I just hire the other nations to work for me on the Sabbath. You can't do that. What did God say? Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Uh huh. Your servants, or what? Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So your own people that work for you, nor the other nations can work for you either on the Sabbath. But some of you entrepreneurs out there, you're not going to shut it down on the Sabbath. God says that's wise to do evil. You're not to and do that. the truth. And some of them in the truth. Yeah. You got another uh, got another story on that pertaining to uh, working on the Sabbath? Yeah, yeah. So it was a time in the truth where brothers like to say they use Baruch 3 like because we're in captivity. So when they go to work, they'll say something like uh, the job offer, the job will be like, the job is Tuesday to Saturday. Can you work that? They know in their mind. They know in their heart. They ain't supposed to be working on the Sabbath. But they'll say something like, yeah, I do that. So they wise to do evil because when the brothers be like, yo, why you ain't coming to the Sabbath? Oh, oh, he, he, he's all wicked. I got to work on the Sabbath. You see that? When he volunteered, when they asked him, okay, they have these hours of uh, these days available. Can you do it? And they right. say yes. Then say nothing about can yeah. I have it off right. anything. Yeah, you're not forced to work. You're not forced to work. You're doing that willingly. Read that again. Jeremiah 4 again. The book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children and they have none understanding. Mm -hmm. They are wise to do evil. Wise to do evil. So, so those of you that willingly work on the Sabbath when you're not forced to. Okay. You elect to do that just because you want a couple of dollars. That's wise to do evil. You got to repent of that thing. And you know what else, Cap? They say something like, how am I take care of my family? They love to say that. They'd be like, oh, if I don't work on the Sabbath, I can't get this job. You see that? That's lack of faith right there. Right. Okay. God says he clothed the grass. All right. Oh, ye of little faith. Where's that at, man? Where's that at? Let's find that thing real quick. Oh, ye of little faith? Yeah. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye? Mm. Read it again. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which is today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, mm -hmm. shall he not much more clothe you? So will not God take care of you? He takes care of the grass in the field. Gives the grass the nutrients that it needs from the sun and the, and the rain and whatnot. But we, lacking faith, we elect to work on, on his Sabbath day when he told us don't work. And we try to use the excuse, well, uh, I got to feed my family. Right. When you're doing it willingly. Okay. Esau didn't tell you or the other nations that you have to work or you're going to get fired. You're doing it because you want to. Read it again. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, mm -hmm. which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, uh -huh. O ye of little faith? Read on. 
Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or with her shall we be clothed? Christ said, don't even think like that. Okay, what are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? Okay, how am I going to feed my family? How am I going to put clothes on my back? Okay, Christ said, keep his commandments. The most I told us in Deuteronomy 28, that at verse one, if we keep his commandments, we'll be set above all nations. And you know why we were elect to work on the Sabbath? We don't have to, because you don't believe that. No Lack faith. in faith. Yeah. Or wise to do evil. Go back to that one more time. Jeremiah 4. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Uh -huh. They are saddest children. They have none understanding. Our people have no understanding. Come on. They are wise to do evil. Come on. But to do good, they have no knowledge. But to apply God's commandments, you, you, we don't know how to do it. Okay. Give me Acts chapter 13 real quick. Now, I want to clarify something pertaining to the Sabbath. Okay, because there's a particular doctrine out there that we're not to travel and so forth on the Sabbath. You can't go anywhere. You got to stay in your house, stay locked in your house on the Sabbath. Can't use the bathroom. Right. So Acts 13, verse 44. The book of Acts. Read it start at 43. The book of Acts. Well, 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 no. Go to 41. We'll just read down. Okay. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 41. Behold, ye despisers and wonder. Mm -hmm. And perish For I work a work in your days A work which ye shall in no wise believe Though a man declare it unto you Read on Watch. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue The Gentiles besought that these words Might be preached to them the next Sabbath So now It says when the Jews Meaning the southern kingdom were going out of the synagogue Northern kingdom besought them That they would be preached the same word The next Sabbath They wanted to hear the gospel Okay, come on. Now, when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, uh -huh. who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. Watch this. And the next Sabbath day came, almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. What happened? Uh, the whole city together to hear the word of God. It says, and the next Sabbath came almost the whole city to hear the word of God, meaning what? They travel to the congregation. They travel to the sanctuary. Right. They travel where the, where the schools were to hear the word of God. So, yes, you can travel to go, whether it be an hour or two hours, wherever you need to go to get to the school. OK, that's another example of why to do evil. Right. Oh, I, I can't drive. So the school is an hour away from my house. So I can't make it there. That's why to do evil. We drove two or three hours camp for over four or five years. Right. We did that. Okay. Building in other cities. We did that. Read it one more time. Verse uh, 44. Verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. It says almost the whole city came together. Okay. So they traveled to get where they need to go to hear the word of God. Those of you that are still sitting on the outside... You need to travel to the locations that the brothers and sisters are in your local cities, states, countries, wherever they're at, to hear the word of God. Okay? That's another example. On the Sabbath day, why is to do evil is just going to say, oh, I'm not going to travel because I don't have gas. Well, guess what? The same way we were to cook and uh, or bake and boil what we were supposed to do the day before, you got to get gas. Okay? The day before, you got to prepare and whatnot to prepare to travel. That hour, that two hours, whatever you need to do. Three hours, four hours, whatever it may be. Okay, so you can keep the, the most high Sabbath day. Read it one more time. Verse 44. And the next Sabbath day came, almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Right, so what does that mean? It is lawful for you to travel on the Sabbath. Go to um, Isaiah chapter uh, 1. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 16. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. The Mosai says, put away the evil of your doings. Okay. Read on. Put away the evil of your doings. What does it say? 
from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. Being wise to do evil. The most I said, stop that. Don't do that. No, no more running water to get hot coffee and so forth out of your sink on the Sabbath day. Don't do that. Right. No longer putting your food in the microwaves talking about I'm not cooking. Yes, you are. The food is hot. Okay? You understand? We got to come back as Israelites and keep these laws in the faith of Christ in truth and in sincerity. Right. Okay? Not being wise to do evil. All right? Go to um, Deuteronomy real quick. Deuteronomy 31. Moses prophesied about you all. Deuteronomy 31, verse 29. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31 and verse 29. And I shouldn't say you all, okay, because we were once there too, but read, read what you got. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves mm -hmm. and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days. It says, Moses prophesied that evil will befall us in the last days. Okay, being put in captivity, carried on slave ships and whatnot. Read on. Because Be ye, because what? Because ye will do evil. Because you're wise to do evil. Okay, that's why we're still under the conditions that we're in today. Because what being wise to do evil. Read it. What? Uh, because it because ye read a part of uh, before that. And evil will befall you in the latter days. Moses said evil is going to befall us in the last days because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord. And we do these things in the sight of the Lord. Reading, reading out the Bible and then do the exact opposite. It's more. Read on. To provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. You see that by the work of your own hands. Okay. Inventing evil things. Just coming up with ways to break the Most High's commandments. Like I said, putting your, your, your sandwich in the sun. Right. That's why I said do evil. You invented that. The Most High said don't do that. Okay. Prepare and, and, and bake and boil what you're going to do the day before. Lay it up. And then you can pull it out and eat it. You understand? Or oh, another thing they try to invent, Cap. They say stuff like, um, you know you can't buy nothing. So they'll say, well, you want to go to the store with me? Oh, no, nah, it's the Sabbath. I can't go. Well, what if I buy it for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't buy it. But if you buy it for me, you see that I'll take it. And I and our people do that. Go back to Exodus 20 on that. Matter of fact. Right. Yeah. No, no, no. You can't. I can't buy it, but you can buy it for me. You know, Exodus 28 again. Exodus chapter 20 and verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, thou shalt not do any work. In the Sabbath, you shall not do any work. Read on. Thou, nor thy son. So not only you, your son can't do it. Nor thy daughter. Your daughter can't do it. Thy manservant. Your servants can't do it. Nor thy maidservant. So whether it's a female or a manservant, they can't, they can't buy or do anything to break God's commandments for you. Read on. Nor thy cattle. Nor thy Wait a minute. Your, your, your cattle? Nor thy cattle. Your cattle can't break God's commandments for you? Okay, we don't. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Nor the strangers that are within your gates. So even if you had servants of another nation, they can't go out. You can't send them to the store buying for you or cooking for you on the Sabbath day. Okay. So Israel, Lord willing, y'all got some out of the lesson. With that, we say sure. Sure.